a mascot. It's a mascot of Bali. It's on a Bali coin. Um, every painter that thinks he's worth his salt paints Bali starlings, but nobody ever sees them. So it's pretty special to the island of Bali. I think that if we hadn't started the project, there might be a lot less around than there are now. I, I don't know that it would have had a great chance of survival. Grading is not a problem. The problem is finding safe places where we can release. Even here we have people catching the birds and it's protected area. The king is protecting, the head of the village is protecting. Lots of people know about the program, the school know about the program, and still we get people trapping our birds and sending them in black market. For the young generation, they see one bird, and it's the same cost to sell one bird is the same cost to buy an iPhone or a tablet. So for them, it's easy to choose. You just take that risk and sell the birds. It's actually quite frustrating. Because we have all these birds and our aim is not to just breed, our aim is to breed and release. Bali starling is a very very highly uh, adaptable species. It doesn't it's not affected by the deforestation or anything. It's affected by trapping. If the people let them be, I think they can save themselves by themselves. <laughs>